What's up, Connor? How's it going? Good, Tim. How are you? Thanks for coming on the show. You look like the kid in Ex Machina. I know. I got to see it. You do have to see it. It's <laughs> actually a really good sci-fi movie. But hopefully, you know, you're smarter. After my trades. Yeah, after your trades. So, you know, just tell us your story. Inspire everybody watching this. How did you get into trading? What has trading done for you? Absolutely. Well, I started my first job as a freshman in high school. Um, really just wanted to make my own like money. Like last year? <laughs> how many years ago was this? Four years ago. Okay, Four cool. years ago, I started as a freshman, freshman in high so school. So how old are you right now? I'm 18. You're 18. So when I was 14 years old, I got my first job, busing tables, cleaning tables, waiting tables. Um, every at weekend, the barbecue restaurant. At the barbecue restaurant down the Is street. Is it good Walk barbecue? Tour. Good barbecue, man. Oh, good barbecue. Man. Okay. You gotta go. Sorry, you're ribs. making me hungry. Um, so cleaning tables every weekend, made you know a few hundred dollars a week, but always saved my money, saved my money. And then after two years of working there, my junior year of high school when I was 16 years old, um, my dad wanted to teach me like fundamental investing with Verizon, and AT&T, all these boring stocks. Really didn't have an interest in any of them because my account would go from 9700 to 9750 to 9700 and learned about penny stocks, learned about your story, other people's stories and behind his back started trading penny stocks and in roughly a year and a half turned 9700 into 3000 $345,000 <laughs> trading penny stocks with my iPhone in class, getting kicked out of class, detentions, you name it, um, all from there. That's a lot to take in. You talk really fast. Um, so 9,700 into what, 345,000? 345,000. In roughly how long? Roughly a year and a half. How did you do this while trading from class? Because I've tried to, to trade. I would, I, you know, I, I made 100,000 in my senior year of high school, but I would leave class. I would say, oh, I have to go to the bathroom and then go to the library to trade. We didn't have mobile trading. You know, this was 15 years ago. How do you do it in class? Are you like under your desk? Or? We do a little bit of both. I mean, what I like to do right when the market opens, I leave class, walk around in the hallway with my phone. And, <laughs> but when I am in class, it's under the desk. What I, what's a good tactic that I really use pretty well? Calculator, worksheet, phone. Right by the calculator because the calculator is taller than your phone. If you put your phone right there, I have my level two up and execute my Did trades. Did your grades suffer? Trade Just a bit. Um, you know, for the most part, my, trade, my focus has been on trading, but you know, like a C student, so not terrible for not paying attention to class at all. And, then and you're making home. ten, twenty thousand a month. Ten, yeah. Trading. What's your biggest month ever? The biggest month of trading was probably sixty thousand dollars. From class. From class. Moving. And did you get this? Teachers never like knew. Did you get detentions or anything? I get detentions all the time. I'd have my teachers take away my phone, call my house. My parents would give me my phone back because I'd be in the middle of a fifty thousand dollar position, whatever it may be. But detentions probably every week or every. Did other you tell week. the teachers what you were doing? Yeah, they hate it. <laughs> some teachers they say like it, some they, they say it. don't gamble. They say don't gamble. They say using trading in the stock market's gambling. They don't understand the, the purpose of a strategy. Why are you successful when most traders fail? I cut losses quickly and I have a Yo, proven strategy. Uh -huh. Proven strategy of cutting losses quickly, high risk, high, I mean, uh, low risk, <laughs> high reward trades, all about minimizing your downside, let your winners ride. And that's, you know, it's gotten me pretty far. Yeah. What's your biggest loss? Biggest loss was forty-seven thousand dollars on a penny stock. And what I happened there? You didn't cut losses did, quickly. Did not cut my losses quickly at all. I um, was on the wrong side of a press release overnight, trading with way too much size. Something I teach is sizing your positions properly before I knew what I was doing. While I was trading ninety-seven, ninety-two thousand dollars in profits, down to fifty-two thousand. Um, so you, you lost know, half your account. I lost. I lost roughly half of my account on a single trade. I say that's a positive because I lost big once before. Almost every major investor and trader that I know has lost once or twice big. So they learn, don't do that again. It's like yeah. you know a baby drinking like hot steaming water, and you don't you know you burn your tongue. You never do that again. Right. You don't know what it's like. So do you think that that has helped you mold you? Absolutely. You know, big big losses and losses in general are good because then you see what you're doing wrong. If you're if you're able to swallow your pride, take a look at your losses and actually see this is what I did wrong. A lot of people are afraid to see, oh, I was wrong. You a seem lot of very wise for a teenager. <laughs> are you really like a teenager or are you like Yoda? I'm 29 actually. <laughs> really? So you're you're older. Um, <laughs> when you lost that money, I want to, you know, most people don't get into that. Yeah. Obviously, when you lost your money, when I lost my money, I went into drinking. When you lost that money, how did you feel? How did you react? Um, I went more into like hibernation. I would just mind my own business, you know, not really hang out with much, many of my friends, and I would just say, I really have to figure this out because I love trading. I loved, 
you know, the whole concept of it. And then some of my friends knew about it. My family knew about it. And so and this is when you went from 9,700 to 97,000. So you were already up like 90,000. No, th this is from 90, 95,000 down to 52,000 from De uh, January. But you had already taken the 90. I've already made a ton, and then so you already I made 90,000. Then you lost half. I lost, yeah, roughly half. Okay, how long did it take you to like go into this hibernation period and come back? Th almost three months. Three uh, months. Three, yeah, three and a half months roughly. What did you do to get back on your feet? Because a lot of people watching this, they have losses. You know, I get this question a lot. How do you come back? So you, you hibernated. Did you take smaller positions? Did Took, you stop trading? Absolutely. Yeah, actually, I stopped trading for a few, like a, roughly a week or a week and a half. I just really like look at what I was doing. for you. That's like half I your know, life. I didn't know what to do. I was sitting in class. I actually had to take notes. Oh, my God. To do. Oh. Like, how do people do this? So, to, and I just tried to stay away from the market for just a few days. Then I started following stocks and do what I teach other people to do is paper trade. I paper traded and then I saw, I kept losing or whatever, and then I look, wow, okay, I'm losing on this. I keep losing on this setup and it was short selling. So I stopped shorting. And then I saw I kept winning on a specific setup and I just took that setup and ran with it and just focused in and honed in on a particular setup. Then I started trading with uh, my actual account, sizing my position smaller, ensuring I cut losses quickly, and then grew my account exponentially from you know, that year, year and year and two months from that went rock bottom of 52,000 into 340, over 345,000 dollars now. So now that you've lost half your account, you've had a solid win streak from 50,000 up to 300,000 right. with no big hiccups. losses. No, not for the most part. I mean, biggest loss maybe two, three thousand dollars. Yeah. So no major losses because it's all it's huge on cutting losses quickly. And you know, sometimes that you know, I'll cut you know, take your profits too quick, but that's okay because end of the day, net net, you're green. What is your setup that you know you've refined? Because obviously, short selling didn't work for you. You know, I do short selling. You okay? But I love short <laughs> selling. I I'm a cynical guy. What is it that you now do? What do you what do you focus right. on? What I like to focus on is I like bottom bouncers. I like these charts with an RSI relative strength index down to 20, 30, testing, retesting previous support levels. So a level that's holding as support, maybe seeing higher lows coming in with the oversold RSI. You enter that with your starter, tight stop loss, one and a half, two percent. But since you're only taking a starter, if you lose, you're losing you know, 80 to $150. Yeah. Then once the stock starts to bounce, you get your confirmation, you see it start moving, then you add into that and then simply just play that bounce of a spike, which ideally are 7 to 12% gains is what I try and target by minimizing my downside. And you had a good game this morning. What yeah, ZQK, it? I alerted ZQK on the plane actually coming out to LA, um, alerted ZQK at 56 cents, hit 66 cents. So 20% winner in 24 hours. How much did you make? I actually sold early and I took a $10,000 position size, but I walked away with $317 on that. So from a plan. position sizing, this is important because I want people to understand this. You don't trade with all your $300,000 in profits anymore. No, Why? I don't. I, one, I like having my money put away. Two, I like putting my back against the wall. I like to know that, okay, I can't go into a trade with a hundred grand by losing 2% is $2,000. That's a lot of money. I don't want swings like that. My subscribers, Profitly slash Connor, they all are trading with you know a few thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. My thirty thousand dollar account relates to them. Where if I go in with a starter at twelve thousand dollars, I don't add any more. I really have to focus on percents because I can't find, I can't make two percent and make a quarter million dollars here. Make two percent a day, make a quarter million. You see, what I have to do is I have to make seven to twelve percent. I need bigger gains to grow out an account, so it makes you work harder. So you're trading with thirty thousand, so roughly one tenth of what you made. And when you say back up against the wall, you mean you can't drop under 25,000 because then you have the pattern day trader rule. Exactly. So you don't want to drop that much. So that's why you so like. Get the cut losses quickly because I can't have a big loser because then I'm trading with an account under the PDT, which is a nightmare. Yeah. So that forces me to cut my losses quickly because if I have a, you know, a $1,500 loss, a $1,500 loss, $1,500 loss, yeah. I'm going to fall below 25,000. This makes you really hone in on my biggest thing of cutting losses So quickly. when, so like, you know, you said what, you made 5,000 in the past few weeks? Yeah, past few weeks, 5,000 dollars, yeah. So on average, you're making five or 10,000 a month? Correct. With your 30,000? Yeah. So do you take money out at the end of every month? Yeah, I pay every my month. car, yeah, every month I take my, you know, I pay my car, I'll, you know, take that money, put some of it away, and then, you know, spend So the at rest. the end of every month, you go back to 30,000? 30, 30,000 dollars. So today days. is the last day of the month, you have to take money out? Correct. So you're taking, tomorrow. you're tomorrow, so you're taking, like Roughly six, six, yeah, about six thousand dollars out of my account, and you know. So you know exactly how much you made because you go back to I thirty. It. Yeah. Okay. Go down That's to cool. a round number, and then you know, again, like it just forces me to cut losses. Yeah. That's no, the no. biggest thing I, in trading. I like that. I, you know, I, you I'm down yeah. with that. Um, you said you were you're spending it on what? Your car? 
Yeah, I mean, I'll pay the car payment, put the rest away. What kind of car do you drive? BMW. Nice. BMW what? Uh, 335. You like it? I need a new one. What are you going to get? Um, M3, M4, or Porsche Cayman S. I like the Porsche. You gave I it like away. I the Porsche. I did. But You're I, giving I, it to I, me. I'm in the market. I still like it. You don't need it. You have enough profits. I give it to people who are less fortunate. Um, what are you going to do now? Because, you know, you're, you're done with high school. Um, are you going to go to college? Or are you going to trade? What, what's yeah, your story? I'm, you know, I'm going to be taking uh, the year off before college, taking a, a year off, taking things you know, day by day once I've been out of time. But you know, for now, taking the year off, trade, and then teach to um, my subscribers, teach my strategy, you know, instill more and more self-sufficient traders with my strategy, people profiting. So I want to talk about that. So you know, you're making a few thousand dollars a month as a teenager, which is you know, five or 10,000 is what you know, people with, with like graduate degrees make. You're doing this, no degree, very little risk because you're cutting losses so quickly. So now you want to teach people. So you know, I'm proud to host your newsletter, Profitly slash Connor. What do you think your students and subscribers can get out of learning from you? The good part about learning for me is I'm very relatable because I'm not trading with a large account. Oh, you're very relatable? I'm very relatable. You guy. think there's many high schoolers who make five to 10,000 a month? That's yeah. relatable? All right, maybe my story is not too relatable. Look at your my, face getting red. <laughs> my, uh, my trading strategy, everything I'm doing as a trader is for someone with $3,000, could even despite I'm trading with 30000 but my whole strategy of cutting losses quickly, letting your winners ride, all about you know favorable risk versus reward trades relates to so many guys, and especially people if you have a work a full-time job, if you have kids, you're traveling. Whatever you're doing, if you're not going to be sitting in front of a computer yeah. for, from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, you know, my strategy works for people on the go because I trade, I've made 300, over $300,000 trading All from, from your phone. You've All never used phone. a desktop for your trades. I get to trade on my desktop for 50 minutes and I don't even trade there. I just kind of run scans. <laughs> so, I mean, for the most what part. What software do you use to run your scans? Stocks to trade. I have um, my scans actually on Stocks to Trade that you could check out there. So more and more trade ideas from Stocks to, uh, stocks to trade com. Cool. I, I just still can't believe it. Let me, let me see your phone. Where's your phone? Phone's on the bed. Okay. I mean. Somebody get his phone. We gotta, we yeah. gotta see this. This is crazy. So you literally, you literally trade. This is, this is a three hundred thousand dollar plus phone. Right, and it's not even an iPhone six. Have you, you don't even need a six. Look at this. You have two messages. Mom and dad. They both wow. messaged you. They're worried about you. They're like, what's going on? So from, it, did you get a new phone or is it this phone? I got my. I started with an iPhone four. Okay. So I, I moved up a little bit. And this bit. is an iPhone 6. 5S. Not oh, even you're a 6. You're not even at the 6 I'm not yet. Not even at the 6 yet. I, gotta make half, I said I have to make half a mil, then I can get a 6. Back against the wall. I need a new phone. But you literally trade all from here. Yeah. Whether it be from a pool, whether it be yeah. from my bed, whether it be from a plane, you know. I honestly have gotten so used to trading from my phone where, yeah, I mean, I'll sit on my E-Trade Pro or whatever. Um, but, you know, I with two applications on my phone, I. I'm, it's what I'm used to. It's what I'm, like how you're comfortable with traveling and trading. I'm comfortable with sitting on my That's iPhone. That's cool. So how have your subscribers done? I mean, you've only been Great. teaching a few months, but do you I have, have my first $100,000 subscriber. His name's Raf from Brazil. $100,000 uh, $100, in profits. $100,000 in profits. Nice. International. Wait, you know. dollars or wait, what, well, what's dollars. Brazilian? US dollars. What's Brazilian? Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. You went to college. Come on. You, I don't trade currencies. Yeah. Um, $100,000 in profits? 100000 US dollars in profits, um, which is, you know. In how many months? In three months. Wow. With us. So he traded with the $30,000 account size, so a larger, a little bit larger account size, but he is, um, you know, really never traded penny stocks before. He traded Forex a little bit before, yeah, yeah. but he had some trading background, but first time trading penny stocks, he found me, um, found my story, and we started really working together pretty well. And that's cool. Now, you know, $100,000 in profits. Wait so till you have a millionaire student like me. It's, that's going to It'll be blow awesome. your mind. You have to fly to them. When they cross a million dollars, you have to try and be there. I was there, I missed my first millionaire student. My second millionaire student, we flew to Ohio. Remember that, Joey? And we had, what was that burger we had to celebrate? White Castle. Yeah. We had White Castle. White Castle to, to celebrate, okay. In Ohio to celebrate. And we went to, uh, what was Magic it? Mushroom mm -hmm. Magic Mellow Mushroom? Yeah. Mellow, Magic Mellow? I don't know. Um, that was, you know, Tim Grittani's favorite pizza place. Okay. Um, when he had a $200,000 profit day, he went to pizza. So we had to redo that when he hit a million. Do you have anybody else coming up with a hundred thousand? Yeah, I have a guy? subscriber now up thirty thousand dollars. He's trading part time. How many months? College. Um, he's um, well. He first started. It's a very inspiring story. He started off down three thousand dollars in his first few months. Wasn't really you know studying. Wasn't cutting losses quickly. Got his strategy figured out. So from May 
to you know uh, from April to now, so roughly two and a half months, he went from zero to twenty-eight thousand dollars in profits. Um, consistently profitable trader, great guy in the chat room, and again, he he started with an account under the pattern day trader, so, so he has it even tougher. In your newsletter, you give the alerts. You got your chat room. I know you have a DVD too, School yeah, Trader. Yeah, School Trader. That is just you know, five hours of raw content where you're going to sit down and you're going to go through the A to Z's of trading. And I recommend bringing out a notebook because what you're going to do with all what you're learning in School Trader, get into my weekly Q&As and ask me questions on all these different things that you're learning. So you go over the patterns and the rules. Do go you talk about like how to like trade from a I, phone? I like, talk about trading from a phone. I talk about what apps I'm using on my phone. I talk about, you know, the whole psychological aspect of being a trader, of making a lot of money, ma losing a lot of money, yeah. all the different emotions involved. So I go through it all. So what's next? What are, what do you plan to do? I mean, you're I like plan. I need. I need my first millionaire subscriber. I need half a million in profits. But I'm just dedicated to what I'm doing now: trading, teaching, um, traveling, traveling. A Where little are you going bit. next week? I'm going to uh, Bermuda. Nice. Um, then you know I'm in LA now, so just traveling a lot and doing a lot of cool stuff while teaching. What do your parents trading. think of all this? They love it. They still think it's they still think it's so crazy because yeah. you know less than two you know less than two years ago I was busting tables and now it's. You know, I'm in LA now. I'm going to be in Bermuda, traveling everywhere. I mean, are they proud of you? Has they're are, very proud. Do they that, tell everybody? Or they tell like, everybody. I'm, you know, I'm like the celebrity. Has of the it town. impacted their life at all, or not really? I mean, they have people that, um, you know, will be like, oh, that's that's the parent. His son is the one. You know, yeah. but for the but most I mean, part, it's penny stocks. It's, penny, it's, it's like weird. sketchy people don't get kind it. of stuff. People like, don't get is it. Is he fraud? Is he lucky? Especially with Wolf of Wall Street, because my story came out, you know, a few months after the Wolf of Wall Street, and I have so many of my friends who are like, oh, so you call people on the phone and sell stocks? Yeah, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I mean, I do use my phone, but yeah. not not phone calls. Yeah, use ten gigs of data a month for my trades. So your parents can't believe this is happening. They can't believe it. It's, it was, um, you know, I started trading just to have fun, and then you know made a lot of money doing it, and you know then I started investor school. I mean, uh, does your probably. dad want you to get a job, or your mom like? My mom, they... believe it or not, still wants to get me a real. Get, well, I mean, wants me to get a real job. She doesn't understand that when I sit in bed or I drive around, have my phone, or yeah, you know, you're travel. Working, you're she doesn't understand it's work. Most of the time. She doesn't understand. What's your win percentage? I'm just curious. My win percentage is only sixty percent. Okay. Sixty forty trader. But your winners are bigger than your losses, so that's yeah. The, key. the way my ideal, my per picture perfect trade is risking two percent and having a reward of seven to twelve percent. So. You kind of got a little famous with this article on The Verge. How did that all come about? Yeah, I was actually looking at ways to get myself into college after trading so much for basically all these different colleges to believe what my common app had to say. So um, I saw, you know, The Verge had contacted me. and It was all perfect timing, and they came to my house. They saw everything I had going on. They photographed me in my room, saw my phone, saw everything. And, um, yeah, that story just went absolutely viral. There, what was it? The title was like, Don't Try This Don't Try home. This. Don't Try This, yeah. But it was still, they talked about, you know, they had to give disclaimers. I mean, Business Week wrote a profile on me, and they're like, don't try this. But then they talk about the numbers. They right. interviewed my millionaire students. So, you know. What was the the feedback from that? Like, did that the feedback? To believe yeah. it, believe it or not, 159 comments on the article. 147 of them were negative. Yeah, a lot of people hated me. They were like, "Oh, this kid. Oh, he's gonna spend it all. He's gonna oh, lose it all." Jealousy is a bit. It's a lot of it's a lot of jealousy and a lot of hate right off the bat. So without my, understanding what you're with, doing, without you know, it's I just because it's penny stocks. Right. Oh, trust first, me, I know the discrimination. It's terrible. My first time putting, you know, my story out there, looking to inspire people, and really just put myself out there, yeah. just got shot right down. But yeah. you know, fortunately, the story just continued going viral, and you went on Fox. Right? I was on Fox Business. You know, people on Fox loved me. And uh, who interviewed you? Uh, um, Charles Payne. Do you know Fox. Charles Payne's background? I don't. He's a, he's a penny stock promoter. He's a penny stock promoter. <laughs> he okay. actually got busted by the SEC. Wow. So it was interesting, interesting. when you got. It was supposed to be Varney, but uh, yeah. Stu Varney wasn't in. So it was Charles just Payne. ironic because Charles ironic. Payne promoted Once Upon a Time NXTH, which was Shaquille O'Neal's uh, penny know. stock pumping up, and I exposed that. You talked about the Heat game too. I I heckled him at the Heat game. Um, and now Shaq is you know trying to still pitch stocks, even though he's a penny stock promoter like Charles Payne. I thought that was funny when he was interviewing you. Was there any, you know, I know you, so you got a lot of attention. Was there any downside to getting all that press in your real life, not just like online comments? You know, in my real life, you know, a lot of people just, they make it into it, not like a joke, but they're like, we go out, oh, Connor, Connor's got it, right? You know, the big baller here. Yeah. But, um, you know, for the most part, I hang out with the same kids, mm -hmm. um, still friends with, you know, the same group, you know, just, 
you know, a lot of teachers like don't really like don't really like it. They're like, because you know, you're making more money than your them. family. So, do they get any any negative oh, feedback? No, they got they got cool gifts from me. I got okay. them, you know, MacBook Pros for my parents. Got my sister iPads. You know, take my brother courtside, Nugget Nick game, wherever. You know, it so takes, you take it all with like a grain of salt, and you're like, you know, this is the life. Yeah, I'm doing what I love. Cause you, well, you know, what I love especially is that you know that you have a specific strategy, and it's not just you know luck. You're not just picking random stocks and being lucky. It's a very specific technical pattern, and you'll see that you know in your stocks to trade scan. But this can continue in bull and bear markets. Right. Do you think or no? I think it can. I You've think never it seen can. a bear market. I've never. Though. Se- I'm, I'm too young. Come on. Uh, but no, I I do think it can. And now you know the market in 2015 is is red. You know, year to date the market is red. So I mean, this really isn't a bull market anymore. And you know, my strategy is still working. And obviously. Uh, just like every trader, your strategy gets refined. You know, yeah. day to day, the markets adapt. are always trading. So I'm well, ready to I'll adapt. G- I'll give you a tip because I've seen bull and bear markets. Bull markets are nice. You buy stuff and they can run and, and all the momentum traders jump on it. Bear markets, there's fewer plays that bounce. But when they do, because there's so few plays, the bounces are stronger. So it's, it's good and bad. It's good because, you know, you don't have to like see like 50 different stocks on your scans every night. But it's bad because... You know, you have to be very, you know, selective, and you and many people can't do that. Right. So that's the beauty of cutting losses quickly. So if I'm losing two percent four times, and I hit a winner, yeah. and it's a seven to twelve percent winner, the thing spikes twenty percent. I just erased four or five losses, and then you know, I'm green. So what are the biggest risks to you right now? What do you see as as risky? Like obviously you're not going to lose all your money. You're only trading with one tenth of your profits. But what do you see? Like what if what if there's no bouncing? What if we're just going a totally bear market? What are you going to do? Adapt. You know, adapt. You just like I did when I was losing all my money. You adapt. You you take a quick, you take a step back quick, and you watch. You watch. You paper trade. You totally take a step back from the market because if you just go in there and just money, money here. Let me try this. Let me try that. Just like a new in, a new trader yeah. when they go in like, oh, they don't know what they're doing. They don't educate themselves. They don't watch video lessons, and they just try to trade. They're gonna lose. Same thing with when the market changes. So simply, you know, adapt. Watch. Watch a lot of these charts, and you know, if you if need be, you know, paper trade off the bat. No, but just I'm totally glad adapt. you said that because in year 2000, which up until last year was my biggest year in trading profits, I made 720,000 the first four months, but then the stock market crashed, and I was buying penny stock breakouts. I wasn't dip buying, but there were no breakouts the last right. eight months. So I made 720,000 the first four months, lost 10,000 the last eight months. But I was trying different strategies, adapting. 2001, 2002, I made nearly a million shorting because it Redacted. forced me to learn how to short sell. So right. you might, you know, learn how to short sell or, you know, who might knows? go back, who knows? But you, the key is keeping an open mind, not saying, okay, I can only trade this pattern. Traders adapt to different markets. And that's why we're doing this video right now. It's a very, you know, tricky time in the stock market. We might go into a bear market. Who knows? You know, we're long overdue, but right. it doesn't matter. Doesn't you matter. Know? We're traders. I care about what a stock will do for one to three days. I don't care about what a stock's going to do in 12 months. What do you see, because you know, now you have quite a few students, what do you see as the number one problem that people have when they're, they're trying to trade or, or learning to trade? A lot of people get too excited to trade, where when I have someone totally new come into my newsletter, Profitly slash Connor, they're just like, okay, Connor, I'm ready to trade. And it's like, no, you can't trade right off the bat. You don't know what you're doing. So what I really encourage people to do, and the biggest problem is watching video lessons. I have, you know, 250, over 250 video lessons where, you know, they're all organized where you start with what is a stock. You know, my DVD school trader is perfect for that. But, you know, really educate yourself in the beginning. And I am very, very big on paper trading. If you're brand new to trading, paper trade. Paper trade, see what you're doing wrong, see what you're doing right. And then what you're doing right, run with it and refine it and then you know reuse your two three thousand dollars whatever it may be whether it be two thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars you should you know educate yourself in the beginning and then begin to trade how'd you get so smart so quickly i lost a lot of money i learned a lot of lessons yeah no it's crazy it's it's just incredible you know it's an incredible story and it's incredible to see how much you've learned in such a short period of time like Thank you. five years from now you're gonna be have like i don't know like a gandalf hat and like a cane and something you know and you're going to be like, you shall not pass. <laughs> what is your number one tip for people watching this at home? Just beginners, advanced traders, whatever. What is the number one thing that you think that you can contribute to their lives? Right. My number one thing is really, you know, find what inspires you, find what motivates you. Trading, obviously, it's hard to, you know, it's a lot. Like, I love to trade. It's hard to, you know, I, in my opinion, not love trading. But really, why are you trading? You know, look at the bigger picture. Is it you know, to pay your mom's medical bills? Is it to take your family on vacation? Is it to, 
you know, change other people's lives around you? Or is it simply for you? Do you like, are you obsessed with shoes? Are you obsessed with cars? Whatever it may be, find like your true passion, try and find what truly motivates you and like what you love. And trading could fuel really any type of lifestyle you want, whether it be giving back to the community, whether it be traveling all the time, whether it be, you know, whatever it is. Trading could do that. So really look at the bigger picture of trading because really anything is possible. Where someone like you or I, where we start with a few thousand dollars, make, in your case, millions and millions of dollars, in my case, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you far. Could, so far. You know, we'll hit the millions. Um, but, you know, it could really totally change your life. Whether If you're starting with a few thousand or a few hundred thousand or a few million, you know, it, it will totally change your life. Well, congrats, man. I'm Thank looking you. forward to see what you're doing in the coming years. Awesome. Thanks. My name is Tim Sykes, and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm gonna talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 